Good evening, St. Stephen intern Shauna here. I'm so excited to be with you here tonight. And for our devotion, we are going to be reading John 14, verses 15 through 21. Jesus explains to the disciples that he will be leaving them. And this is really hard for them to understand. And he will be leaving them, but what he explains is that he will always abide within them that God will always abide within them, and so will the Holy Spirit. So we've been gifted the Holy Spirit so that we're not abandoned, that every single day within ourselves, we have the power of the Holy Spirit to help us through our days. And if you can imagine this was a message thousands of years ago, and one we're still wrestling to understand today. But what I, how I find this message is that it's a message of encouragement. Jesus was consoling the disciples, comforting them, helping to try and explain to them what was going to happen. But what he really wanted them to know is that they would not be alone. The spirit of truth would dwell inside of them. And so there's one thing that I know, being an intern at St. Stephen, and that is that you are a beautiful, loving, special community of encouragement. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for being at St. Stephen because from day one, I have had so many people encourage me after worship, saying kind things, cheering me along, telling me I did a good job. And in our verse today, Jesus was helping the disciples and encouraging them through this difficult time. So I just think about that and I want you to think about that. How can we encourage each other? We're all going through different feelings. Sometimes we're restless, sometimes we have anxiety, sometimes we feel cooped up, and let's encourage each other. We're gonna feel a season of different emotions, and I know in our beautiful community that encouragement is one of our strengths. So we have learned from our message today that the Holy Spirit abides within us, that we are never alone, that we have this fierce advocate with us always. And so what we can do is be that advocate for others and lift one another up during this challenging time. So a couple of weekends ago on a beautiful weekend, a couple of the neighbors and myself got together and we had a big circle and we were social distancing and we got into this heavy conversation about the state of the world. And we just kept sharing one negative story after another and just the despair of everything that was going on. And you could literally feel our energy going down and down and down and down. But then after we let those feelings out, what we chose to do was to dwell in what was going well and seeing so many more neighbors out in their yards and children out playing and just all the beautiful things that people are doing right now, the little messages people are putting on their sidewalks or the ways people are helping the best that they can. And so I think it's so important for us to remember that we can dwell in the space of lament, but then to get us through this challenging time, we need to encourage one another. And so a couple of weeks ago in the children's message, I asked if the children would draw themselves with Jesus and I got a couple pictures back and I wanted to share them with you. So the first one I have, this is from Lindsay's daughter, Sylvia. And I love that she has included her sister Noel in the picture and Jesus is in the middle and the beautiful bluebird in the sky is there. And then another one of our beautiful members who wanted to join in on the fun are Ruth and Chuck Oliver. And they are here with Jesus in the background, abiding with them. I love this one. So a shout out to Ruth and Chuck Oliver. And our next one is from Bryson Klein. And I really love how he says that Jesus is with me even when I'm sad, tired, or mad. So I just want to share some words with you that 
you know, opening my heart to you that this is really challenging. We're missing out on things that we were able to do once, but I know that we have each other. I know that we can pull through this, and I know the world isn't the same as it was right now, but I know how resilient and strong that we are as a community, and together we will get through this with the power of God. So God bless you, I love you, and I'm so excited when we can be with each other again. Good evening. Thank you.